This video goes out to any of you who are still a virgin. If you're, st if you still haven't lost your virginity, bro, after this video, there generally is no hope for you. I'm going to tell you how I lost my virginity and what mindset I had and what I changed to be able to go from somebody who was possibly going to be a virgin for the rest of his life to then obviously lose my virginity within a week. Like I'm not joking, bro. The minute I changed this about myself, I lost my virginity a week later. So let me tell you a story. I was somewhat of a late bloomer whenever I was young. Um, I didn't lose my virginity in my teenage years. I didn't even kiss a girl until I was 19. And all the boys in my class, especially in secondary school, were going around kissing girls, losing their virginity, you know, multiple girlfriends, you know, and those fellas who were in my year, and especially, like I said, in my class, they would almost make fun of you and they would look down at you like you were like some weird person. Like I used to make, I used to be made fun of that I was gay or something, but just because like I wasn't, a, because I didn't lose my virginity the same time they did. And it was a very cutthroat, brutal sort of world that I was in. You know, and for many years after that, you know, I just struggled so much with girls. Like, I'm not joking, bro. Like, I've had girls who I knew liked me, but I just wasn't too, I was, but I was too scared to pretty much do anything about it. I was too scared to ask them out. I was too scared to make contact with girls. I was scared to even talk to women because I was a horny little boy and, you know, I was very shy and I was, I just didn't know what to say to girls, you know, and to me it was a very haunting thing and I always thought I was going to be a virgin for the rest of my life. And, you know, it put me in a very sort of depressive mind state. I was very depressed at one stage because I genuinely thought I was going to be alone for the rest of my life. And, you know, 18 as a boy, you know, 18 is the is the age where you sort of turn into, is, is where you sort of enter adulthood, is where you sort of become, you, you, you take your first step into being a man. And yet, you know, I went through my whole years of being 18, still being a virgin, still never kissed a girl. It, it took an effect, it had such an effect on me so much that like a lot of good memories that I should have had in my life I didn't have because the, those things were going through my mind. Like I couldn't go on a road trip somewhere. Like if my family were going on holiday, like on holiday, I would, I would feel, I would feel so sad and depressed, even though I was in a different country or going on holidays, because I'm like, well, I don't have a girlfriend or and I'm still a virgin and I'm incapable of being loved by anyone. That's how my mind went and that's the rabbit hole I went down. And. It wasn't until a few things happened that things really started to change and one of them was I started going out to like clubs and night outs more and you know this the self-improvement space bro a lot of people will tell you to not be a degenerate and not go out and do all that sort of stuff like yeah fair enough don't don't go out and get sloppy drunk every night don't do that but like if you're somebody who's a virgin and you've no experience of girls go out like go on nights out you go to those parties because that's where you're going to be thrown in the deep end and you're going to get the most experience and you, you have a higher chance of actually being successful with a girl. Because right now, bro, your job is to lose your virginity. Now, obviously, a lot of us do want to lose our virginity with the right woman, but sadly, that's a very, very, very hard thing for us to do. And there's two choices you can do here. You can choose to go down the route of waiting, you know, into your mid-twenties and working hard and becoming a man who is wealthy, attractive, and who is able to attract that beautiful woman that is going to be your wife for the rest of your life. If you do want that sort of fairy tale life, and I'm not saying it's not unachievable, but it just, it's harder to do. Now, the easier one is to go out to like a nightclub with your friends and maybe you don't have to drink, okay? You don't have to drink alcohol, you don't have to get sloppy drunk, but go out on those nights out and learn to be more sociable. So the more nights out you do end up going on, start you know, like the start of things are going to be very awkward and strange and you're going to come across as a bit creepy, so you are. Especially whenever you do try to talk to girls and you try to get in there. Because the reason why that is, is because you have zero experience with women. So you don't know what you're doing and you're going to do a lot of things wrong. <clears throat> the more nights out you go on, the more things you'll pick up and the better you will get at it. And this is where I lost my virginity. So I started going on nights out with my friend loads and loads and loads of times. Like we went out every single weekend and obviously I was a degenerate. I was going out and I was drinking heavily on the weekends. You know, it took me a long time before I started seeing actual results. Now, I'll tell you the story. So I was, I think I said this before, I did say this in a previous video, where I went to Belfast. Um, I live in Northern Ireland. So I went to Belfast with my mate. We had this uh, interaction with two girls. They came back to our hotel 
and I absolutely fumbled it. Like I crumbled, like they ended up walking out and you know, that was a, a good opportunity for me to lose my virginity, just completely gone. And to me in that moment, like my friend ridiculed me for it. But in that moment, I thought to myself, that is the closest I'm gonna come to losing it. And I blew it. And the difference was that the thing that changed to me, right? So a week later, I actually ended up losing my virginity, right? But a week before that, whenever that moment happened, something changed in me where it was almost like an aggressive anger. Like, I was just like, you know what, what am I, like, fuck, like, I was just like, screw this shit. I'm not, I'm not waiting around anymore. And so I lit that, that it sort of like kicked me up the ass. It booted me up the arse to, to just like almost go out with just ruthless confidence and just go and do it. And the next weekend I went out to um, a bar and a club or a club or a bar. And the first girl that I like, I was talking to and that I seen like small signs of like interest, immediately I just went in for it. Just, just cut through ruthless, not, no hesitation, nothing. And obviously like a week later, I ended, we ended up, uh, I ended up getting her Snapchat and we ended, I ended up losing my virginity that weekend. But the moral of the story is bro that, but the lesson of the story is that, is that you have to put yourself in situations where you screw up. If you're a virgin right now, good. Like, I want you to hate being a virgin. I want you to hate it so much that you get, that you go out two nights out and that you get rejected by so many women or you get in those situations like I did where you bump into these women who are clearly interested in you, but you're just too nervous to actually go ahead and do it because you're thinking too much. I want you to feel the pain of that regret because that's what's going to really light a fire under your ass to then go out and, act and, just, and just change and completely just succeed. It's that sort of like annoyance of being a failure. It's that it's that hatred of, of losing. It's it's you know of, of being so close to having what you want and then having it taken away from you. It, it's one of the most you know, especially in those moments. Like that's all I could think about that week, and I, I just obsessed over. It. I was like, right, I, this next weekend, I don't give a damn. I am going out, and I'm the first girl I talk to that shows any sort of like remote signs of like interest. I'm I'm getting in there, and like I said, I succeeded, and I hope you can take these lessons too. I hope that if you're watching this and you're still a virgin that, you know, you do have to be rejected. You have to feel, you have to feel that sort of sense of pain and anger that you're so fed up with the position you're in in life that you immediately just, just, just grab what you want by the scruff of the neck and get it. Because I promise you, bro, that's the where you're gonna see the most growth, the most growth. Stop listening to all them people on social media especially YouTube, who tell you things like, you know, oh, like, you know, whenever you see those people on um, those cold approaching people or those like dating coaches who on YouTube, they'll make videos telling you certain things to say to a girl and little cues and they, stop watching that because all that really is, right? You want to know the truth. All those people really are, or they're pretty much just bragging about how much girls they get. They don't actually, those things don't do anything because you're different from that person. If you're watching the video where some guy who's jacked with a ta with a tattoo sleeve and he goes into a nightclub and records all the times there where he gets um a girl's number well of course he is right because he's probably far more attractive than you so obviously like if he goes into anywhere and, and tries it on with a girl he's going to succeed whereas if you do the same things he does yeah yeah okay far enough you may get lucky a few times but you're going to get like like nowhere near the success that he will promise you so stop listening to these dating coaches who tell you things like you know, oh, if, oh, if she does, if she says this, that then she means this, or if she says that, then she means that. Hug her this way, do her that. Stop watching that crap because it, it wires your brain into setting yourself up for failure, like instant failure all the time. You're not that person. You're your own person. Live your own life. Have your own experiences. I've just given you uh, something that works for me, and I'm telling you now that it might not work for you, but. I don't see why it wouldn't work because any man in that position where they get rejected by a girl, right? And they're a virgin. It's it's almost like a, an anger. I, I, I can tell every man will get that where they just get pissed off with life and they just go out and they just <clears throat> make sure that the next time that happens, they just absolutely don't put themselves in that position again or they don't do that again. But if you're a young man watching, stop watching dating coaches because they're a load of crap. They're a load of waffle. Alright, don't waste your time looking back, we're not going that way.